wish to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we are walking today. We pay our respects to elders past and present. We promise to protect and respect the natural world, its people and their beliefs as we explore it. It is with gratitude and a feeling of privilege that we are able to experience this region. In the time before time, the great ancestor spirit Bunjil began to create the world we see around us, the mountains, the lakes, the forests and the rivers, the plains and the seas. He created all the plants and all the animals. When he had created the beautiful sandstone ranges of Garrowed, he often took the form of Whirlpool the eagle so that he could view his work. He looked over the cliffs and the mountains as he soared. He listened to the sound of water, dripping after rain and thundering over waterfalls. He watched the plants and animals grow, from moss and tiny blades of grass to tall, huge, towering, sturdy gums, from birds that flew to animals that burrowed through the soil. Bunjil had a special place near Garrowed. From there he could look out over the ranges. ancient shelter features a colourful Aboriginal interpretation of Bunjil and his two dingoes. It's the only known painting of Bunjil to exist in Australia. The exact age of the shelter is still unknown, but it's estimated that the artwork is over a thousand years old. At the end of his time on earth, Bunjil rose into the sky and became a star. He remains up there to this day, the protector of the natural world, his people and their beliefs. The Golkun Manya Shelter is a beautiful Aboriginal rock site. It can be accessed from the Hollow Mountain car park via an easy walk through gorgeous scenery with incredible views up to the surrounding rocky cliffs and ridges. Golkun Manya means the hands of young people, 
and this rock art site features handprints of many generations of young people from about 8 to 12 years old. Thank you. 